Hello and welcome to Inside Edition, where we discuss national, regional and international issues in depth. Since 1960s, corporate social responsibility has attracted attention from a range of businesses and stakeholders. The CSR is a strategic concept that includes business management science, which is in the forefront of sponsoring charitable activities, programs, conferences, exhibitions and sporting events based on the existence of legislations, regulations and laws governing the work of the CSR in various countries of the world. Since its establishment in 2011, 11, Bahrain Corporate Social Responsibility Society has been working on supporting and spreading awareness regarding this essential concept with various initiatives. To talk more about that, we are pleased to be joined here in the studio by the chairman of Bahrain CSR Society, Mr. Khaled al -Gurut. Welcome back. Joining me here in the studio is the chairman of Bahrain CSR Society, Mr. Khaled al -Gurud. Thank you for being with us today. It's a great pleasure to be here with you today. Um, Mr. Khaled, one of the things that um, um, once we did the research about you coming on is you're all over social media. And I guess that's part of you being the head of the Corporate Social Responsibility Society. So can you tell us more about the establishment of the Bahrain um, uh, Corporate Social Responsibility Society in addition to its structure, its stages, and the development that it's going through? Great. You're just taking me back to 2010 when we first had the idea of starting the society and it came up because of a unique situations that happened with us yeah. so um, I used to work for one of the uh, biggest smelters in the world which mm -hmm. is the to be more specific it was the second biggest aluminium smelter in the world okay. and they used to do a lot for the community and when we asked them to start a corporate social responsibility society the answer was a bit shocking that they are doing a lot of community services and they call it CSR. Okay. And then I moved on and I worked for uh, one of the biggest family businesses All right. in, the, in the region. And then they did a lot of CSR and sustainable project and we, saw, we asked them to document those things. Yeah. And the answer was another shock, which is this is our community services. Okay. So we find out that there is a misunderstanding of the real definitions of the corporate social responsibility and there is uh, a mix between the and understand that this is a corporate social responsibility, this is a community services, this is individual services. So we wanted to, to have a platform mm -hmm. or an association that clear the understand or the definitions of the corporate social responsibility as first mm -hmm. and then to ensure that the allocated uh, corporate fund that is allocated for the community is being spent in a sustainable project and not timely thing. Right, right. And then the third uh, channel, we wanted them also to focus on the next generation, mm -hmm. which they will start helping them to understand what is community service and then they convert them into the level of understanding the corporate social responsibility. So Absolutely. that was uh, the idea back on 2010. And April 2011, we started and chartered the corporate social Bahrain Corporate Social Responsibility Society, which now we are celebrating 11 years in service. Beautiful, amazing. I mean, when it comes to corporate uh, responsibility, as you said, there is always this misunderstanding that um, is it a community service or is it an actual thing that's part of the documentations of a go of a institution or a corporation? And um, having uh, the uh, CSR Society really puts the, the, the dots, uh, dots the I's and crosses the T's because you have social responsibility and things that are needed, not just a target that you finish and then put to the side. So I think it's amazing uh, all the thought that goes behind that. How was your experience with different types of um, um, uh, projects, different types of companies and in fulfilling the social responsibility? Well, you know, the corporate social responsibility lies on three channels. Mm -hmm which is the social and the economy and the environment. Okay. But in our establishments, we have added a very important thing, which is represented us also in the Middle East, which is the culture. Okay. Our culture is very important yes. for us. So all our projects fall into one of those categories. Mm -hmm. And we also encourage the private sectors to do the same, that follow the project that will help the environment, help the social, help the economy of Bahrain and their economy as well, and the, the economy of the individuals, as the, as right. which is the, uh, and, uh, the social itself. Mm -hmm. But also highlight the things which is 
uh, in our culture. Mm -hmm. Let the future uh, generation understand who are we, what is our culture, what is our things that we have to do. Uh, the old cultures that we have, which is beautiful, the neighbor is for the neighbor. Yeah. The community is for the community. Right. Whatever in my house is for your house. Right. So that's also part of, of the awareness that we have to build and make it a lifestyle that will continue for generations yeah. and generations. So uh, when we started it, uh, when we started the association, we built it up with those four uh, elements or mm -hmm. channels. And we ensure that it's because it is an international three elements, social yeah. e and uh, economy and environment, right. we wanted the practice to reach to the private sectors to uh, spend their money in a sustainable project right. and not in a timely thing. Right. If they are willing to do this timely projects like cleaning a beach or visit the children or do a, a social event for one day, right. they should engage the, so the youth Yes, because yes. they are building a new culture and a community service to the youth culture. Yeah. In the same manner, when it comes to the allocated fund, they mm. have to build a sustainable project like right. more hospitals, more care houses, uh, beautiful shelters if, if we need right. ones, uh, environmental projects, uh, uh, productive centers, yes, innovation yes. centers for mm. the youth. So those are uh, the things that is sustainable and it will going to pay respect to the f one of the four channels that we talked about earlier. Yeah. Did you talk, uh, did you, when you talk about these four channels, are they um, uh, your main goals and missions when it comes to executing these projects? Definitely, when we do projects, we have to ensure that each of those uh, project outcome yeah. is fall in one of those, f uh, let's say, categories. And not only this, the one thing that we find that is missing in the market is measuring the impact of the corporate social responsibilities right. project. Mm. So what we do is that we also help the private sectors to measure their impact of everything that we do. Mm -hmm. Today we have a successful project that happened in the country, which is, uh, we call them an icon project. Okay. Um, I, I would like to, to say one of the case study that we did for, for an aluminum company mm -hmm. like Alba. Yeah. Alba used to be called the, the, com the company which had the fumes coming out of their mm -hmm. smelters. Now, they did a very smart thing, which is now they have a beautiful vacuums, and those vacuums treat this, this air yeah. and to ensure to the public and to the visitors and to the whole neighbors of their smelters that now the smelter is a healthy smelter, yeah. they plant a tree everywhere. Yes. And as we know that trees is more getting more effect than a human being by far. Yes. And now if the, if the trees and the flowers and which came from different places, not only in ba from Bahrain, from right. different other countries. Yes, yes. And they have a small oasis inside their smelter as well. Yeah, yeah. So because their, their, uh, their environment is healthy, the whole uh, uh, smelter now became a model for others to come. And similar to other, yeah. other projects that we have studied in, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. That's the sustainability aspect that you talk about. Exactly. Right, right. Um, well, Bahrain, uh, how does the Bahrain Corporate Social Responsibility Society contribute to achieving the National 2030 Sustainable uh, Development Goals, the SDGs? Um, especially that most of them are targeted towards um, environment. Uh, we see a lot of um, uh, uh, companies coming up and a lot of initiatives coming up to save the environment. Um, how t does the, the uh, CSR basically contribute to that? Well, we looked into the 17 uh, sustainable programs that the United Nations uh, mm -hmm. have been announced and worked with yeah. and we saw them that this is a real example uh, of how the corporate and the private uh, pr uh, corporate family businesses private sectors governments uh, affairs sectors as well can build a beautiful life for everyone right if those 17 is being implemented equally we can see a beautiful future for everyone yeah. and that's not only this some of those also SDGs uh, uh, programs is falling within the same directions of our strategy in Bahrain 2030. Yes. And that's what will make the implementation of sustainable project is a reality change for everyone. Right. Um, do you see that these projects might um, change now after the pandemic? Are there different projects um, that require uh, corporate social uh, responsibility involvement in them? Uh, I look into the pandemic as, a well, at, as it's one of the waking alarms mm. for all of us. Right. We were not ready for the future 
on that particular uh, period. Yes, yes. And the pandemic have forced us to use technology to, uh, to the extreme. Mm -hmm. So if we were gonna look into the programs that the uh, United Nations have been announced yeah. and look into the, the pandemic and w what is the benefits that we got from the pandemic as yes. to be in connect with the, with the community. Yeah. Now we have the platform to excel faster than we have uh, been uh, practicing before the pandemic. Yeah. Why? Because the technology have teached us that things can be done in a different way, in a different angle, not in the old traditional way. Right. Absolutely. So we see it an opportunity, not a threat. Yes. Um, when it came to uh, the pandemic, uh, Bahrain was ready to uh, initiate the technological advances when it came to the system. So um, uh, schools, universities, businesses, everything could have uh, can be done from home with the latest technologies. We already uh, have the uh, Amazon uh, Web Services that was part of the whole initiative. Um, but uh, one thing that uh, we have also uh, noticed is people veering away from staying at home during the pandemic and exercising or doing something different with their lives. Does social responsibility also go into that factor and showing people how to live a healthier and a better life for themselves, not just for the community? It do, and what we have been focusing on during the pandemic mm. is to build a good awareness with online yeah within the the rules and regulations of the government right. so we have been working very hard in in saying to everyone take your information from the official uh, channels and that's why we were also promoting anything that comes from the ministry of health yeah. and ensuring that they are within the law because the country wants us to be safe yeah the one the country wants us to be to to pass this pandemic in a good way Absolutely. and and beautifully been been led by by his uh, his majesty uh, king hamad and the uh, um, crown prince uh, the prime minister yes. uh, they have built a beautiful not only a campaign a lifestyle for every person right. living in this uh, in this beautiful country and made everyone receive their vaccine for yeah. free and uh, ensure that they are also um, have some support yeah. with uh, financial support, uh, laptops. Uh, more uh, laptops and educational support, yeah. and made everyone in this beautiful country realize that the leadership is there to support them and makes them into a better place. That's why Bahrain today mm -hmm. is one of the best countries al among the whole world that is a role model for others to take from. Right, exactly, in fighting the pandemic. Well, we've heard about how the Corporate Social Responsibility Society deals um, with different uh, corporate responsibilities. We would like to uh, hear from you what are the main previous and current activities and events that are held by the Bahrain Corporate Social Responsibility Society. Right. Now, the programs that we are implemented, some of them came back from a trip that we did in 2013. Okay. We've been uh, um, very fortunate that uh, we had the support uh, from a program called the IVLP programs, okay. the International Visitors Leadership Program by the United States. Okay. And we have visited a lots of the social uh, impact and social change and social entrepreneurship programs mm -hmm. in, fo in three to four cities in the, uh, in the, well in the United States. Yeah. That teached us how to implement a change, a positive change into the three channels, then now it's four channels yes. that we have talked about earlier, and to measure the impact of that and how to sustain it. Wow. So if we were talking about what is the project that we are talking about, uh, what we have done uh, lately, we have opened five centers for the unemployed people mm -hmm. to learn and foster their knowledge before they move into a new job. Yes, yes. We have started uh, 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 rebuilding gardens mm -hmm. in villages which uh, recently we have uh, uh, handed over two of the gardens to, to, the, to the municipality, uh, the capital municipality. Mm. Uh, we have helped in building a shelter for the, for the, uh, uh, the animals, yes. uh, to be specified in for dogs and cats, mm -hmm. which can accommodate more than 700 to 800 animals. Yeah. We have also helped in many other things by building a culture on the youth that's bi-weekly. On Friday, they go with their lunch meal that they prepare to the villages and they just distribute it to the houses and they don't say a society name or a person name. They just say, we're our neighbor, your neighbors and we're here to, to give you our lunch. That's wonderful. Okay, so, and many other things. Mm -hmm. We have 
launched an award to, to encourage, not to award, but to, to the main aim is to encourage the private sectors to go ahead and do more sustainable projects in the, in the Kingdom of right. Bahrain and many other things that we have. Yeah. I mean, um, when you talk about these uh, things uh, and performing its duties, the society actually deals with uh, corporates, with various local and international institutions. So all of them actually have a different mindset um, and maybe don't know how to contribute to the social arena that they're here. And that's what your society does. It tells them, okay, this is what is needed. This is, is how we're going to do it. How can you help? And this is how you can help us. So what can you tell us about uh, the collaborations with these different institutions locally and internationally? And how do they contribute positively to achieving the aspired goals? I don't want to call them KPIs because <laughs> they're more than that. They're actually goals for the sustainability in the future. Well, one of the most beautiful collaboration that we are so proud uh, with is the Eastern Province Corporate Social Responsibility Council okay. in Saudi Arabia. Mm and which is led by Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Abir uh, okay. Al Saud. And that is one of the most beautiful, uh, uh, let's say, collaboration that show us the directions into how to build a strategy in, in different fields that can lead to a beautiful impact. Yeah. And this impact is a sustainable impact. And this also a future build within the category that this strategy have been built for. Yes. So this is only one of, of many of those collaboration, but this is the, the main proud, uh, let's say, uh, collaboration. And um, not only this, in, in Bahrain itself, we want to, wanted to, to show how it's important to collaborate with other NGOs. Right. So we have a collaborations with the Orphans Associations. Mm -hmm. We have also with the uh, Community Engagements Associations and many other associations, uh, specialized associ associations, which can also, within their field, build that change that we are looking for. Right. When, when you talk about uh, international collaborations with Saudi Arabia, one important factor, I'm guessing, is because we are from the same region, a lot of um, the responsibilities are very similar. So it's not like you're from extremely different countries. It's the same culture, the same region, and everything. Does that make um, uh, international corporate responsibility execution of projects easier within the GCC um, area? Well, I have to tell you that we have studied a lot of those of those strategies, strategy, the yeah. CSR strategy, and we find out that the Eastern Province strategy that was built mm. under the under the uh, uh, um, the Eastern Province CSR uh, Council is one of the best, mm. okay, and it's see. covered many aspects within the area, mm -hmm. and it was a role model yeah. in Saudi Arabia. That's now also other provinces looking at, okay. and uh, we wanted this uh, strategy itself to be implemented in different places. So whenever we wanted to, s to talk about collaboration internationally, we ask about their strategy and we give this example okay. of, wow. the, of the Saudi Arabia uh, strategy. That's and which we are also <coughs> help, uh, trying our best now is to have their, 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 co their consultation into how we can build this strategy within our country. That's amazing. Well. Um, in order to achieve its goals, the society launched a number of initiatives, including, as you've mentioned before, granting awards. Now, um, can you tell us more about uh, these uh, initiatives and the importance of their outcomes? Why is it important to basically acknowledge um, uh, corporations or institutions internationally and locally that have achieved something within the social responsibility field? We believe that the world is moving very fast mm -hmm. and human being expectation is moving fast with it. Right. So a collaboration will put us on the future before we even s step into it. Yeah. So such a collaboration is a knowledge exchange, a culture exchange, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which will lead us to, to, to also uh, reduce the time for that we are having right currently into implementing our projects. Yeah. Um, having those technology, having those uh, consultations, having those uh, smart actions from people who practice things before us yeah. will help us to improve. If you will talk about our, uh, our initiatives, as example, 
when we came up with the GCC, which is now, it will be called the GCC Corporate Social Responsibility Award. It used to be called Bahrain International CSR Award. It has become a template now for the GCC. Now it's going to be a GCC, and it will be launched exactly on the first week of November. Wonderful. Under the patronage of the uh, uh, Sustainable Energy Authority uh, Presidents, yeah. His Excellency Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, uh, in a conference that we are also planning to do on the same day. Yes. So. When we wanted to do this award, we have 10 categories. Mm -hmm. So companies who specialize in helping the environment, okay. which is a business for them, what did they do? Like solar panels. Uh, that exactly. Kind of stuff, yeah. So that's only one channel of the 10. Yeah. Then we have the community engagement channel. Yeah. Then we have the SDGs channel. Okay. Then so all of the channels that could cover the whole market, we said, have been also there. Yes. That's so this is only one. When it mm -hmm. comes to what we have as, as initiatives, we have the initiatives in two arms. Yes. One is the sustainable uh, developments programs and, uh, and project, mm -hmm. and the other one is the youth projects. Yes. So we are trying our best to have a future which understand the corporate social responsibility and the community engagement. Yes. While we have the corporate that we need to build the awareness for them to build the uh, uh, sustainable project for the country and be a partner with, with, let's say, maybe it's a government's initiatives or private initiatives, yeah. became a partner to make things happen yeah. for a sustainable period, not for a timely thing. Right. Because we believe that community service is a timely project, while the corporate social responsibility is an ongoing project. Right, right. And that's how we define the, the difference. When it comes to um, the initiatives that, that you, you take care of, uh, where the CSR society is involved in, um, just to bring it closer to the viewer's understanding, are there initiatives that are already there or do you find these initiatives within the market or do these people or do these people with these causes come to you? How exactly is the mechanism of you choosing these kind of projects? Um, we have our standard uh, project and programs, mm -hmm. which is now uh, listed till December 2020 okay. with every month and which date and what is the time for each of those projects. Right. These are the things that we have it as a common things we yeah. call them. But in the same time we look into the current situation, current challenges. Yes. What is the social entrepreneurship challenges that it's happening in the market? Mm -hmm. Which of those challenges fall into one of the categories that we talked about yeah. earlier? Yeah. And how we can make a, a change by bringing up an initiatives that sort out the issue, right. beneficials for beneficially uh, be, being beneficial for the for the leaders who who is behind these initiatives, and sort out the problem. Yes, and sustainable for the future. That's exactly. the most important thing. Exactly. That's amazing. Well, the society actually provides a constant support to studies and research specifically. Can you tell us more about that? Very important fact. Now, for the study part, we have uh, worked very hard, especially in the pandemic to how we can support the students of the universities. Okay. So we came up with the, with the ideas of the online internship, mm -hmm. which by today we have graduated more than 600 people from Beautiful. the program. Wonderful. And now when it comes to the research part, we have a very special department led with one of our uh, directors, uh, Dr. Ahmed. And Dr. Ahmed with his team now is trying their best to publish in a very, uh, uh, let's say, in an international platform for research some of those papers research and topics that they've been working on so when it comes to the to the, to to the research we're looking into the topic which have which the answer of the research can lead to an opportunity programs okay All right. and when it comes to the students we are preparing them with the challenges that they have uh, faced the programs that we have also for the students is an internship for the unemployed okay which now instead of we just open it uh, for the unemployed in Bahrain, it became for the unemployed in Bahrain, it becomes for the last graduate of the University of Bahrain. Today we have more than 50 people from Jordan. Beautiful. We have a couple of uh, students from Jeddah, mm. Saudi Arabia. We have one student from the United States. Wonderful. So now th the, 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 the program is expanding in a way that which led us also to have an MOU with the Ministry of uh, 
labors and social development. Okay, that's wonderful. Which we had a, a co on our contract, uh, sorry, a, a, yeah, a contract or MOU with them to uh, teach the unemployed people. Amazing. When it comes to the topics of research, are they within the social responsibility kind of arena? Mm. So future projects, uh, current projects, previous projects and their updates? Well, the research is, w is within the four topics of yeah. the four elements of the... There you go. And the, the answer for those research mm. is what leads to what is the possible project that can sort out this, this issue that the topic itself have started with. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Um, well, uh, over and over during our conversation, I always hear you say the youth and His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince um, um, and uh, also His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasr and Sheikh Khalid have always been um, icons that push forward the youth of Bahrain. Now, the society gives a big priority to Bahraini youth and has very keen interest in investing in them. What can you tell us about the society's efforts specifically in this regard? And well, wha what age do they start in? Uh, we, <laughs> see that we, see the, uh, we see the youth as they are the future. Mm. And without, let's say, developing our youth, I don't see that the future is bright in any place. Yeah, absolutely. And what is the youth have to start with is the education part. Mm. And what we are tr trying our best to do is to build that culture that start with education mm. and then the community engagement. Mm. So if the youth is educated, they will understand what is happening around them. Yes, yes. They will know how to choose the right future for themselves mm. and many other aspects. Mm. When you build the culture engagement or the community engagements with them as part of the culture exchange, that's where they were going to be connected to their to their to their roots, Absolutely. to their culture, to their community. Right. They were going to start in the future when they start working or they become into the business uh, channels and all those things. Contribute more, not in the community service because they did it on their youth, but more into sustainable projects about as as part of the CSR. Absolutely, um, one of the things that uh, have been happening recently, where I see really the contribution when it comes to the youth education. When we talk about youth knowledge, we don't talk about education in school per se. We talk about different things. So very recently, um, uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser's um, camel uh, actually won in a heritage uh, um, race in Saudi Arabia. And at that point, he talked about how important it is to per uh, persevere and keep, uh, preserve uh, these heritage sports heritage uh, community, uh, whether it's foods or, uh, as you said, um, our traits of neighborliness, humanity, that kind of stuff. Do you feel that, uh, how do you think the education or the knowledge is giving to the, th to, to the youth when it comes to these points? Well, His Royal Highness Sheikh Nasser uh, is an advanced person when it comes to con uh, contributing to the youth. Mm -hmm. His idea is very unique. Yeah. Along with His Royal Highness Sheikh Khalid, yeah. who is uh, focusing into the developments of the of the youth uh, in the sports sectors, yes, absolutely. those together, the ideas of the, of, of uh, the unique, uh, innovative uh, approach, is really important at this time. Because uh, the youth have, uh, you know, they want something new from time to time. They yeah. want to be engaged in in a, in a beautiful. Uh, let's say productive uh, programs yeah. and those unique approach can make them engage to build the future right. and the future cannot be built unless they have the support yes. and uh, imagine that the youth of Bahrain is having the, the royal families uh, yeah. let's say support yeah. and that's what makes Bahrain unique in its approach Absolutely. so it's have the support it's have the innovation it's have the engagement and it's have those who have no interest except to see the future comes to the next generation. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, what makes me also more happier is to see that uh, even the family businesses mm -hmm. have played a beautiful role in building a change in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, we have um, uh, a role model examples in the Kingdom of Bahrain as example, which, which is, um, I'll mention a uh, 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 few out of many, um, YBA Kanu. Yes. They are 130 years in service as of today we're talking. Yes. And they have built a beautiful, sustainable project in the country of Bahrain. 
you have infrastructure. The infrastructures, <laughs> yes. exactly. You have the, the Al Al Muayyad family, you have the Zayani fa Correct. family, the Al Kohiji family, and many other families. Family businesses today looking at the result that they built yesterday. Right, absolutely. And they will, they are, I'm quite sure that the future that they are looking for, for the community where they are functioning from, yeah. is there now shining as a star. Right, definitely. When, when you talk about these things, I mean, being in Bahrain, we're on an island. We see everything. Um, it's not because the island is small. It's because it's very interactive with each other. And these families uh, that you've mentioned and many others, Dadabai, um, Bahbahani, all of them, they have this uh, kind of hand in uh, basically uh, progressing this uh, responsibility that uh, to the youth. Um, they want to teach them because they want also their businesses in the future to have that aspect of uh, forwardity. Now, um, the uh, modern means of social media have facilitated a direct kind of communication with target audiences, especially during um, the pandemic and the current health circumstances. How does the society make use of these uh, tools now? Well, what we have done is to do the right thing on the pandemic days. Mm -hmm which is all the news and all the awareness campaigns that was run by the government yeah. is what we have been rely on. And to make those, uh, let's say, important information reach to everyone, and instead of we create a new way, we started to promote what is existing yeah. that is, uh, came out from the government's office. Right. So whatever comes from the Ministry of Health was reposted by us. Okay. Whatever comes from the Ministry of Information was posting, uh, reposted by us. Because that's a reliable information. Exactly. That's, a re uh, that's what we want to tell the people. Yeah. Take the information from the, a, real, a, a real source. Yes. And that's where you're going to get the truth. Yes. Um, having said that, I mean, us as a media organization and part of the Ministry, um, of information, we, we, we did the same thing because basically that is the reliable information and we are also the providers of reliable, reliable information. Um, my question to you uh, on a personal level, you as an experienced person within um, uh, social responsibility, the um, reaction of uh, the Bahraini citizens, uh, the nurses, the doctors, the volunteers that came out during the pandemic, um, did you expect that to happen within the society, that responsibility? individual responsibility well uh, Bahrain is is, is is a beautiful place where it do have beautiful people yeah mm. and um, I don't see that this is something new for Bahrain yeah. whenever there is something that needs the Bahraini people to stand and support their country you will always see them there definitely yes, yes. and uh, it make us really proud and to make us deep inside, what can we as an individuals do mm -hmm. when we see that initiatives from our brothers and sisters who lives in this country? Exactly, exactly. I mean, and if it's well, it comes to us, we wish to see them all uh, in a better positions, in a better places, in a uh, in a better uh, uh, advanced initiatives. Yes, because they can. Yeah. Bahraini people have proved to not to to, to the country itself, to it's proved to the world. Yes that they are capable of doing uh, lots of changes. If you tell me what is the biggest asset in my country, I'll say human capital. Right, that's, uh, yeah. that's a very strong uh, word actually because Bahrain definitely has proven itself in all kinds of international positions even. Um, uh, Bahraini nurses in the WHO. Um, we have uh, also positions that are very high ranking that are filled by Bahraini uh, youth uh, even as we speak right now. Um, what do you see for the future of um, growing this kind of uh, responsibility within the Bahraini um, youth that are here today? In 2016, mm -hmm. we came up with uh, the outcome of one of our conferences. Okay. And we wanted the following to, to be uh, implemented so we can see a beautiful future for the corporate social responsibility, okay. which is one of them to have it implemented in university and schools as a subject. Mm -hmm. That's in the education side. Okay. On the sustainable side, to have a fund allocated from a small percentage from the private sectors, and this fund is run by uh, 
appointed body from the governments and also the private sector. And those util uh, this fund within this uh, pl uh, allocated uh, place yeah. used only for sustainable developments. Amazing. That's really good. And many other things uh, related to this, which is uh, uh, improving the lifestyles of the productive families from now yeah. and make them reach to the uh, startups or the entrepreneurship level. Yes. Yes. Those are the things that is from a big list that they we wish that those can be implemented because yes. those things is engaging things yeah. between the youth, between the, the government's body, between the private sectors, and collectively, that's where you will see a, a, a real result which can be measured. Yes, yes. These are the <coughs> I mean these are really amazing plans and initiatives, and some of them have been executed, but. The question maybe is here, sometimes the people cannot reach you. So um, after years of dedicated efforts, how does the society uh, not only assess its constant success, but also how um, does it provide a, a mechanism for people to become members of the society? What are the required procedures? What are the conditions that you have set? That kind of stuff. Well, our membership is open for everyone mm -hmm. who love to help his country. Yes. Um, and how they can reach us, we are visible with the universities, with uh, NGOs, mm -hmm. with collaboration with the, uh, let's say, uh, different private sectors. And also we are there on the, on the social media. Yes. Yes. So uh, whoever would like to join us, first he have to ask himself, am I going to build a change for my country? If mm -hmm. the answer is yes, you're most welcome. Definitely. <laughs> it's amazing. And uh, lastly, um, from your point of view, how do you see the future of corporate social responsibility in the ki kingdom? In addition to how do you assess the success of it? Well, uh, as I said, it's uh, started to be uh, to reach to, the to a maturity level. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see uh, a bright examples from the, uh, uh, let's say, family businesses, private sectors, government affairs. Okay. Uh, I can see the future of the corporate social r social responsibility in the Gulf and specifically uh, in Bahrain reaching into the right uh, channel of becoming a place to give the accreditation yeah. uh, so for the private sectors. That's, that's in the and GCC? That in the GCC. And uh, yeah. uh, we have a neighbor's country who is really advanced yeah. in the corporate social responsibility. And what we are looking for as an association is to become a center for accreditation mm -hmm. for the private sectors, similar to, to the ISO or any of those international accreditation right. body, and also to be a guide yeah. to support. And uh, as a non-profit organization, our support is free for the, for the private sectors. That's great. Well, before we end today's show, I just uh, wanted to ask you any future plans and upcoming projects that are being prepared by the society? Well, as we said in November, we are, uh, are going to have our uh, GCC uh, uh, Corporate Social Responsibility and Sustainability uh, Conference under, Dr. And, uh, and Mirza. under the patronage of the uh, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, the, the president of the Sustainable uh, Sustain Energy, Energy uh, Authority. And on the same day, also, we were launching the uh, GCC uh, CSR Award. Okay. Uh, we have also the, uh, the, the uh, extension of the uh, unemployed centers. Okay. And that's another thing that we're doing. We are targeting by the mid of next year to graduate 1,000 interns. Wonderful. Which we have reached to 50% as of today. We are looking for another uh, two uh, public, uh, let's say, projects mm. similar to the gardens that we have uh, been doing. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, into publishing our first five uh, uh, CSR books, okay, which we are in the process of to do so. Um, because your research as well? And now uh, we also, uh, thank you for reminding me of <laughs> this, we are also in the process of uh, publishing our first uh, researched uh, topic yeah. with Harvard. Amazing. Which is led by the research development. And um, this is our, 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 our little of a many. We thank our governments for their the trust that was granted to us and for all their support. We, we thank our partners in the private sectors and we thank our youth for being the, uh, the leaders in making the community engagements division and uh, thanks to uh, everyone within our society 
for making it a real uh, proud uh, organization that people started to look at as this one of the supporters for the future. All right. Thank you so much for being with us today and taking some time out of your busy schedule to answer these questions. We will provide as much um, of the uh, social media links that we can um, regarding uh, the society itself. And uh, good luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much for your invitation and for this wonderful interview. Thank you so much. And we would like to thank you, dear viewers, for watching us. And we'll see you next week in another episode of Inside Edition.